We're going back up under deep into the hamstring. We're just going to go two hands to the sock. All right, so most of you guys are doing a real good job of getting there and high legging. We just got to clean up our pass a little bit. All right? So this single leg, I'm going to stuff the head, clean the grip. I'm getting to this 90 degree position here. Okay, we've gotten here, we're driving off this foot, nothing's changing. Now, I gotta make sure this knee is at least under my chest. I don't want it way back up here near his head, and I don't want it too far back. All right, so I'm driving, I'm getting down to his both knees. Now, in order to high leg over, I've gotta drop my chest down to my knee. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring my heel all the way up here to my wrist. So a lot of you guys got this high leg position pretty good. All right, but if my knee isn't under my chest right here, when I go to pull his hip and high leg, I'm not gonna make it into a good position. Circle a little bit, circle a little bit this way. All right, good. So I'm, I'm here 90 degrees, knees under my chest, drop my chest to my knee, and I pull, rotate to this high leg position here. Outside hand goes to the sock, okay? Then my top hand just comes right to it, like a baseball bat grip. I'm not going back up under deep into his hamstring like we did on the double leg. Once I get to this position, this knee blocks his hip. Just for a second, okay? Because as I go to my outside shoulder, my outside hip, this knee helps push his hip away so I can straighten his leg. Then at this point, I'm just getting elbow deep. I don't like passing legs real far away from my body. I'm very unstable here. When I get elbow deep and get it trapped to my ear and I've got him stretched out, then it's nothing but feet in the mat, controlling the leg. And I like when I'm, when, I'm, when I'm rolling with my leg pass, if I can, I like blocking his knee with my knee. So as I'm rolling to my right, I'm blocking his knee with my knee. So when I get to my hip right here, I'm already in good shape to get to this forced roll position. Okay, where I got my leg half. And then again, I'm just reading those wrists and working towards the legs, working towards the head. Okay, so now we're combining a leg pass with our single leg spin out. All right, so again, break the head, stuff the grip, skip the knee, 90 degrees. We're getting to this 90 degree position. I'm driving, making sure he's on two knees, chest drops. Okay, high leg, tack the sock, Block the hip. This is important. Blocking the hip. Just for a second. I push the hip away, pull the foot. Leg is straight, bend to my elbow. Punch away, punch away, punch away. Feet are in the mat. I like blocking his knee here. See, I'm stepping up my bottom knee to block his knee. Then when I push back, boom, right here in good position. Leg half, I'm reading here. And we talked about this going up and going too high versus scooting low and breaking. And then I'm just reading my options, turning towards the head, turning towards the legs. Again, slow as you need to go, but make sure we get that high leg, get our leg out of the way, tack that grip with the sock. Questions? We good? All right, let's go.